the weather has cleared up just in time for me to pick up some cute girl at the gym. And by that, I mean drive to this godforsaken gym and try not to lose my mind any further. I was so angry on the phone with American Express earlier, I could feel the steam going out of my ears. Uh, so, so let me give some background to the story. I've been a fairly loyal member to Lifetime Fitness over the past four or five years. You know, back in like 2014, 2015, I was a member for like two years. And more recently, I was a member for about two years. So, you know, I'm not like some schmuck that went there for a couple months. And by no means can I afford this gym membership. Uh, for any of you that don't know, very upscale gym, $150 a month. And I actually had my sister's membership on there too. So I was paying $300 a month total. But my job was compensating me for the membership. Now back earlier last year, you know, they shut down everyone's membership because of you know what, but in like November or October, they started charging everyone again that didn't officially cancel their membership. I sent them an email to cancel. I submitted a cancellation form. They said like the account number was incorrect or something. You know, so I called my credit card company. I made sure they put a block on it. And you know, with all the stress going on with all of my businesses, um, I, I didn't notice until like April they charged my car 300 every month and you know for my employer I have to go to them every month show that I attended the gym and they can compensate me for it now I'm out about two thousand dollars you know Amex didn't help me and uh, uh, we're gonna go over there we're gonna talk to them nicely in person and see what they have to say about taking advantage of their members during this crazy you know once in a lifetime period and, and you know the owners of lifetime fitness are probably some secret society degenerates as well but uh go figure apparently to be successful in this world you have to rip people off as many of you know this is not the first time i have been scammed fortunately i have rescinded my losses in every scenario as I intend to do so today. Uh, the first time, I believe, was those supplement companies and you know they refunded most of the money. I was only out a few hundred dollars. Uh, then I got scammed by the gym and I still have that gym equipment in my garage. At least they refunded me for the broken stuff. And more recently was the Alibaba emu oil debacle. And American Express actually uh, sided with me and ended up giving me my money back uh, for that. Some of you might be wondering, Frank, What's the point? Frank, why stress yourself out any further? Two reasons. One, this is an easy video to film for tomorrow. And two, maybe these greedy degenerates will learn a lesson and possibly the next time someone asks to cancel a membership, they might start thinking straight about the consequences of aggravating people. Hey, the parking lot looks pretty full. They look to be doing pretty well for uh, a crisis. Let's see. I did look up the filming policy and the filming policy was that you can film inside the gym for your own personal use. However, in order to film other people, you have to request their permission. Therefore, I will be filming myself as I walk in and I will not point the camera at anyone. And I will put on my cuck mask to abide by the New World Order Regiment. Hopefully they allow me to keep my pee pee. Well, there's maybe normal business. You know, parking lot didn't really get much more crowded than this. I mean, they spent a ton of money building this and they didn't really do that well at the start and I think they had to fire a lot of people. So we'll see. We'll see what they have to say. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, I've requested to uh, cancel my membership uh, a couple months back, and you guys kept charging my card. Okay. What's what's the name? Are you filming right now? I'm filming myself. Yes. Okay. Why is that? Because I had a, a very aggravating email interaction, okay. and I'm out two thousand dollars now because my credit card company refused to dispute the charges, and you guys refused to refund me the money from my membership. What's your name, sir? Frank Tufano. T U F A N O. You're not allowed to film on property, just so you know, without permission from the company? I read your uh, filming policy and it said that I'm allowed to film myself for personal use. Is that correct? Let me just get their check in, Yeah, sure. Thank you. Tufano, what's your last name? Yes, T U F A N O. T U F A N O? Yes. First name? Frank. Thank you. Hi. How can I help you? I requested to cancel my membership back later last year via email. And you guys continue to charge my card for six months straight? So, take a look at my membership, and I do have to ask that you turn off the camera 
I read your camera policy and it said I could film myself for personal use. I'm not filming you guys. The camera's not pointed at you guys. Sure. I understand. I mean, certain tokens here in account and resolve whatever issues that you may be having right now. Um, is there any particular reason that uh, Jeff needs to bring me into the information? Is he just not giving me a satisfactory answer? I'm not sure. He just called you. Stop filming, so. No, don't worry. I just wasn't sure how much information you've yeah. gotten regarding our cancellation policy. So yeah, I requested to cancel via email. Okay. And, they, and I filled out the form. And they never got back to me. Did and then I. Who had spoken with, or was it just a generic corporate link? Thanks. If you have that, and if you can actually just get me the email, that's the easiest way to honor it. Is this how you is this how you treat all your customers? I'm meeting you for the first time right now. No, I mean in general, like you in in the middle of a pandemic, a once in a lifetime thing, you continue to charge all of the memberships, and you force them to submit a cancellation policy to stop charging. You, so, so you freezed all of the memberships during the pandemic, but then halfway into it, you just decided to start charging everyone again. No, actually, I mean, you can pull up your account if you'd like, but all members. So why, why, is my, why is my account been charged since last November for six months straight? If you can, you just allow me to finish answering your questions. We can handle every Go ahead. single issue that you might have one at a time. Uh, we do send notification to all of our members based on the information that you provide us with. So, Jeff, did you get a chance to actually confirm his email with that? Do you have a copy of your cancellation policy with my signature on it? Yeah, you can go ahead and pull it up. Frankstefano at gmail.com? Yes. And I'll be glad to print that out for you. Looks like you had a bunch of communication with corporate back in February. That about 2021? Yep. Any names on there just so I can obviously okay. reconnect you with the right person? I okay. bet. Yep, you got it. Looks like they tried to reach out to him multiple times. And Frank, can you confirm the email that you have in file with us? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, so looks like there was plenty of communication back and forth starting, it looks like back in February of 2021. So the 15th, uh, all the way through Feb 23rd. I don't know if you have any of that on your own. Again, yeah, I do. So just to recap what happened. So you charged my card for three months and then you sent me an email saying that I needed to cancel the membership refusing to give me the money back for the charge months. So then I called my credit card company. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, this is my first time meeting you and speaking with you. Yeah, it's, and it's, un, it's unfortunate, but uh, th there's no point in going on and on about, so are you gonna be able to refund my money for the six charged months and cancel the membership and stop charging the card any further? I personally can cancel your membership effective immediately. Any such uh, reactivations or refunds that happened previously we have to go through our corporate office in that So did I attend the gym at any point in time from November till now when you were charging me for those months? We can look that up. The answer is no. Okay. Is that what you typically do? You just typically charge people's cars and hope they figure it out on their bank statement? I don't really understand where the hostility towards us is coming from. If because I've dealt with many gyms before and this is what they typically do. Yeah. They have a ridiculous cancellation policy. So and they charge people that's... under ridiculous circumstances. Yeah, I'm so sorry that that's been... would, would you say that this, this pandemic is, is a big issue for a lot of people losing their jobs, having financial issues? Absolutely. Yourself, myself, and my team included. So you think it's okay to charge $2,000 to someone's card over the course of six months? I think you're saying you to me. No, I'm not. I'm referring to Lifetime Fitness. And you're representing Lifetime Fitness mm -hmm. because you have a tag on your shirt. I am, and I'm very proud to work for Lifetime, and I actually think when it comes to health clubs, and again, I'm so sorry that you've had terrible experiences at other places in the past, we have an extremely flexible cancellation. So, I mean, with, with my business personally, whenever anyone has an issue, I'll take the loss, I'll refund their money, I'll apologize, and I'll even offer to give them something as compensation. In your case, when I reached out to you guys, you said, oh, you can cancel your membership, but we're not giving you your money back, and you made me jump through a bunch of hoops instead of just canceling the membership. So far, like I said, I've spent well, no, I don't think you're sorry. I think you're used to dealing with people that don't aren't in any position to stand up for themselves and just go with it, or they don't have enough money to care about it. I actually don't think that's the case at all, and I think that Lifetime, first and foremost, puts a lot of focus and emphasis on the team member and the member experience because if you aren't having a great experience here being a month-to-month -month facility, there's nothing bringing you back here. And so I don't think it behooves us to not deliver a great experience to you. Why so you started charging everyone's cards starting in November of last year, whether or not they canceled their membership. That's incorrect. So why did you start charging my card? We actually opened up on August the 24th. And prior to that, August reopening, we sent an email to all of our members that were set to reactivate. If your reactivation date was in November, you would have also received that. 
So, you, so, so you did reactivate everyone's membership in the middle of the pandemic. Sorry, I'm gonna have to ask that you and I step outside. We can carry on this conversation together. Said, He's not in the camera. He's not in the camera. Yes, but due to the pandemic, I need six feet of space up here, so you need to step outside. Thank you. Any other questions, Christopher? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Again, I prefer not to disrupt the member experience, and I'd like to resolve this for you as soon as I'm able to. Obviously, there is a story here that I'm personally just catching up on. I do want to reiterate that we're just looking to get you where you need to be. And it's not really a story. It's pretty simple. I want to cancel my membership, and I want the money back for the previous seven months charge. Great. So I can extend that exact conversation to our corporate office, and that who is the senior manager who's been working with you. And there's really nothing more I can do or say for you at this point. So you can't cancel my membership now and you can't give me any money back now? Your membership will be canceled effective immediately. I'll give you a printed copy of your original agreement signed. And then from there, I will personally connect to you with the vet. So you don't want to give me my money back? I cannot personally authorize that without doing some digging on my end to figure out what this story is. I mean, it's pretty clear. I didn't attend the gym for the past seven months. My sister didn't attend the gym for the past seven months. You reactivated my gym membership without my permission. There would be no reactivations without anyone's permission. No, 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 no. Sending people an email and they don't respond to it is not getting someone's permission. You did not have physical contact with your members and then you reactivated their membership. And I'm very sorry that you feel this big. And talk about, uh, talk about <laughs> trying to save some face. Cancel the membership. I'm not signing anything. Cancel the membership. I guess this is how you have to cancel a gym membership now, right? Alright, that's fine. Fucking scumbags. I guarantee you, I walk in there without a camera, totally different fucking story. That pissed me the fuck off, man. Bunch of fucking scumbags. Oh, we we don't charge people's membership without their permission, yeah? Why do you think I'm fucking here filming your... Ugh. Listen, I think I have some pretty good judgment. R r listen, I could go in there screaming like a lunatic. I could go breaking shit regardless of what I do. Compared to <laughs> compared to what they've done charging my card and all this bullshit, I, I would say it's completely justified. So I think I've been pretty civil and reasonable. And it's absolutely disgusting that you have to threaten a gym and go in like this and film them and disrupt everything. I, listen, I'm not the type of person that would ever want to do this. I, I don't like doing this to people's businesses. But when they're going to do shit like that, hey, you know, you throw some shit out, expect to get some shit back. That's all I have to say. So I'll keep you guys updated. And the main reason I'm posting this is a bargaining chip for uh, my $2,000 back. So hopefully Lifetime Fitness legal team reaches out to me, says, hey, you know, if you take down the video, we will give you your money for the membership back. So, uh, you know, it's just more stress on top of more stress on top of more stress on top of bullshit. And hey, listen, in the comments, I'm sure a lot of you guys have dealt with crappy gym membership stories, but you haven't... Uh, had your own YouTube channel where you can uh, crucify the gym on it. I want, I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I, I feel like I should have gone in there without a camera, with like an audio recorder, and saw what they said, and then went back in with the camera. I wish I did that now, but we'll never know. We'll never know. Maybe they'll update their photography policy. See you guys tomorrow if I don't have a stroke.